Hello everyone, Scott Devers here, Visual Evangelist. This is a bit of a puzzle. It's a strange contraption. It's for someone who's stuck in the house for hours and hours and hours and has nothing else to do. Because see, what you do is if I pull this, then the blue one goes down and the red one goes up. And I pull the white one up, the blue one goes down. If I let the white one down, the red one goes down. If I pull the yellow one up, the red one goes up. If I let the yellow one go down, the blue goes down. If I pull the red one, the blue goes up that way. And so it goes this way, and that way, and this way, and that way. And uh, like I say, if you're stuck in the house for a very long time, you could do this by the hour. I don't know what you would be like. When you came out after hours of doing something like that, but I suppose you could. Did you know that in one way, this reminds me of the gospel? Let's just take this color yellow for an example. That reminds me of the color of heaven. It, the Bible says there's no night in heaven. There's not going to be any sun or moon either. But there's going to be light. The Bible says God is light. And this reminds me of heaven. It reminds me, no, there's not going to be a sun, but there's going to be light. And it's a kind of a goldy color. And we read about streets of gold. And so it reminds me of heaven. But then again, this is dark blue. It's not really black. But it reminds me of that thing called sin. And sin keeps us from heaven. The Bible talks about uh, in the book of Revelation that no one that does uh, that, that's a sinner will go into heaven. And so we read about that. And so sin is a bar to go into heaven. But that is why Jesus volunteered to die on the cross and shed his blood. So that our sins will be uh, cleansed and forgiven. So that we can go to heaven. You see, we have a sin nature. But we automatically do things we wish we hadn't. But when we trust Christ, who died on the cross, the Bible says that though our sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and our sins forgiven. And if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. The Bible says we are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of of light. And so this reminds me very much of the gospel story. And you see, whenever you uh, pull, oh no, <laughs> apparently I've made another mistake. You ever make any mistakes? Oh, I do. I suppose we're meant to be humbled, but I make enough mistakes that I stay humbled all the time. But just to make this a little more puzzling, if I take this apart, oh, could use a little oil, I guess. I can take it apart. And you thought it was connected in the middle, didn't you? Ha, ha, ha. And so, just a little bit something to make it more interesting. I'll put this thingy. I don't even know what to call it. In America, we would call it a thingy. In Glasgow, they would call it a thing me. Is there a difference between a thing me and a thingy? <laughs> as far as I know, there's no real difference. <sighs> what do I need to do? I know, I'll rub this and that'll heal it. Oh, that part's working. That's good. There's the ball that reminds me of sin that keeps us from heaven. Here's the ball that reminds me of the blood of Christ. And here's the ball that reminds me of when we've trusted Christ as our Savior, though our sins were scarlet, they're white as snow. And now, once we've trusted Christ as our Savior, we are ready then to go to that place called heaven. And I'm all twisted into a knot. 